Hello civil engineers, I welcome you all once again to this webinar series on civil engineering excellence. Arbitration in a contract, how we deal with the arbitration, whether arbitration to be dealt in a, uh, I mean as per the contract act and other things. Today's video we are going to discuss about all these things. Why does this arbitration is required in a contract? See, normally if you go as per the provisions of the contract, as per the scope of work and everything goes well during the currency of contract, no question of any dispute and when there is no dispute, no question of any arbitration. But in real practice, it does not happen uh, normally because what happens during the course of execution, there will be some variation in the quantities, there will be some change in scope there may be delay in payments, there may be delay in execution of, I mean, uh, uh, issue of uh, site use drawings, delay in uh, giving the instructions and so on and so forth. There can be some um, dispute in some measurements. So, these type of disputes are day to day when during execution are going to come. Now, there is a provision made by the government in contract and so I think class 25 of section 3 of conditions of contract deals with this. Uh, arbitration okay and provision of uh, fixing a arbitrator say it can be a sole arbitrator or it can be a panel of arbitrator decided by agency as well as the client depending on your contract provision you can see if it is a sole arbitrator normally the client will fix the arbitrator and then both agency have to go to the arbitrator but if it is a panel so agency may choose one arbitrator client may choose one arbitrator and then both the arbitrator will decide or there can be a panel of three arbitrator depending on the uh, provisions case to case. So, this is about the fixing of the arbitrator. Now, this uh, arbitration, arbitration is done based on Arbitration Conciliation Act 1996, which has been amended from time to time. I think last uh, amendment was there in 2015 and uh, 2021 also there was a move of uh, changing this uh, some clauses in, I mean, some amendment in that, but that has taken place or not, you just uh, have a look on that. But arbitrator is also bound by the provisions of contract and provisions of the uh, Arbitration Conciliation Act. Now, suppose it is a central government contract, so all these uh, provisions are, will be done by the, based on the, I mean, uh, on behalf of the President of India and if it is a state government contract, it will be on the uh, on behalf of uh, governor of that particular state or PSUs, maybe it may be under central government or state government. So, depending on the case to case that arbitrator has to be dealt. Now, arbitration, whether it is to be done or not to be done, so my suggestion to all these people is the arbitration should be kept as a last resort. First of all, we should try to settle the dispute amicably across the table. There are sometimes a problem in the interpretation of the items or interpretation of the clauses. So, see, the one thing is sure there can be only one interpretation of one particular clause or something. So, to be on safer side for the client, first of all, your item description should be very clear, your specification should be very clear, content clauses should be very clear so that there is no dispute, even if some dispute is coming. So, it is better to settle the things across the table at technical level or at the most you can go for conciliation. So, in conciliation what we do, we go to a technical expert, both the parties amicably decided and the technical expert will listen both the parties and then he will decide and his decision will be, has to be followed by both the parties. So, that is in conciliation. But normally in government contract, conciliation is not very much appreciated and because, see, you know, financial things are involved. So, always people prefer to go for arbitration. Sometimes there can be a dispute in payments. So, again arbitrator has to refer those clauses. So, this is all about a brief about the Arbitration and Conciliation Act and our contract at 1887 also comes in picture. So, these are more of a legal pattern of things. So, detail mein iske baare mein kabhi hum log dusre video mein baat karenge dosto. In brief I have given this uh, idea about Arbitration and Conciliation Act. So, the, aaj ke video mein dosto itna hi. मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट वीडियो में थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग थैंक यू